The Presidential Task Force PTF on COVID-19 has extended the gradual easing of the lockdown by two weeks. The PTF Chairman and Secretary to the Government of the Federation, SGF, Boss Mustafa, announced this on Monday during the briefing by members of the task force in Abuja, the nation's capital. According to him, in spite of the modest progress made, Nigeria is not yet ready for full opening of the economy and tough decisions have to be taken for the good of the greater majority. The PTF chairman also disclosed that the measures, exemptions, advisories and scope of entities allowed to reopen under phase one of the East lockdown shall be maintained across the Federation for another two weeks, effective from 12th midnight of May 18 to June 1. The lockdown order in Kano State, according to the SGF, has also been extended by another two weeks. Joining us live is Kayade Selako, a public affairs analyst. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, uh, so good the morning. Pres good morning. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning. The presidential task force, in its wisdom, decided to extend the phased lockdown by another two weeks. Do you consider this a step in the right direction, considering the increasing uh, number of uh, confirmed cases um, with the virus? Yeah, thank you. Um, the primary function of government is to protect life and property of uh, its people. Uh, no responsible government would want to continue to watch while anything, anything, not even to talk of um, a novel and dangerous disease like uh, the coronavirus pandemic that has been killing thousands of people around the world. Obviously, the Nigerian government um, will not want this disease to continue to kill Nigerians. Uh, from the record available to Nigerians or to the world, coronavirus has killed almost 200 Nigerians already. It has also made the former chief of staff to the president a victim. So, I think you mean globally. Nigeria, I mean, I think you mean globally. The figure is over 200,000, not Nigeria. So we don't. Um... No, 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 no. I said. In Nigeria, it is about 200 people. Okay. About 200. It is getting close to 200 now. Yeah. 200 Nigerians now that it has killed. And so, the government must not continue to wait or relax or renege until it kills more than enough people. We don't want coronavirus to continue to kill Nigerians. So, all the measures, every measure... The government feels um, it could take is what it, it has been taking. And extending the partial lockdown for another two weeks is what the government has felt in its wisdom could still continue to help in the containment of the spread, active spread, especially, especially at the community level. The spread is now actively at the community level. And this is where it becomes very, very dangerous. So, did, so what the government has been trying to do is to keep looking at measures, you know, measures uh, that it, it could keep introducing to contain the spread of coronavirus in Nigeria. So extending the lockdown for another two weeks would definitely help, in my own opinion, it would definitely help. To okay. spread. In spite of the, I mean, some people, some businesses are opening, but not fully. And we know, for instance, that Lagos State Government has said that they will do some sort of um, verification for uh, businesses and organizations to open um, again in a phased manner. Won't this further compound the level of hunger and poverty? Because businesses are not opening fully. People are not fully back at work. Well, um, Nigerians have. Um, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Nigerians have always been hungry. Hunger has always ravaged Nigeria. The percentage of people that are not hungry in Nigeria are not up to 30%. About 70% of Nigerians have ever, for, have always been hungry. 
and complaining of one economic challenges or the other. And I think the government of Nigeria has been trying to alleviate these challenges um, to a, cons a considerable and effortfully extent. But I believe that in whatever the government is trying to do around this time, the most important thing is that more and more Nigerians must not continue to rest in the graves, in their graves. We have about 200 Nigerians now that are already resting in their graves. They can't open their businesses anymore. They also have businesses the way we also have. Coronavirus has killed them. They can't open their businesses anymore. They can't take care of their children anymore. They can't continue to bother themselves about all these things those of us who are still alive now are bothering ourselves about. Yes, times are hard. So also it is for uh, citizens of other countries around the world too. <clears throat> times are hard. There's nobody that his business will be locked down, that he will be happy, and he will want it to continue like that. But there must be solution. The government must continue to look for solutions um, uh, to the containment, wide spread of the coronavirus pandemic in Nigeria. And so, if to continue to lock some businesses is part of that solution that, 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 that won't make coronavirus to continue to send more people, more Nigerians to the grave. I think it is okay by me because the, the, the Englishman would always say that prevention is better than cure. Prevention to continue to prevent Nigerians from dying. All right, let, let's, let's look at let, let's look at let's take your perspective on the uh, reopening. There's been an ongoing debate about um, why government chose to open the market as against churches and mosques. And we know now that the Lagos state government is also considering fully reopening churches and mosques based on them um, uh, meeting certain criteria. With the present realities, should this really be considered, knowing fully well that maintaining social distancing, as all evidence has shown, is not one of our strong suits? Well, let us look at it this way. Um, the government locked down uh, the economies of some states, especially Lagos, Abuja, and um, Kano State recently for about uh, five weeks. They did stop the spread. It didn't stop the spread, but the spread of coronavirus um, got reduced, became reduced, drastically reduced around this time. But immediately the president, Mr. President, announced the um, lockdown relaxation measures on May 4, the number of cases, the number of cases started increasing. And up to now, it has been increasing. So which means the best solution is to lock down the economy uh, to be able to stop the spread. But unfortunately, it is not realistic. It is not possible. It will be too difficult to continue to lock down the economy of Nigeria. And part of the economy we are talking about is the market economy. All right. Um, is the market economy. Uh, Mr. So, Kaede, I'm afraid I have to interject now. That's all time will permit us um, on the news at this hour. Thank you very much uh, for your time with us and your thoughts. Thank you very much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Program.